okay for some people velocity banking works on a every four every five days you know where they take out a chunk to pay for um, bills for the first like four days and then they put the money back in there's a lot of different ways that you can do it when you when I'm working with people one-on-one -on -one, that's what I'm trying to figure out is getting that routine right and then remember that live stream that I did on on how to maximize on the credit cards what else can he do with this he can push all of his expenses that can be paid with a credit card he can push them to the what after the what the closing date okay he can push the bills right he can call up the phone bill call up the electricity the cable the internet um, except for food and gas because that's weekly but all those monthly bills and subscriptions right if his closing date for Navy Fed is let's just say the 15th is the closing date the due date let's just say is the 12th okay so on the 12th he owes 232 but we don't have to worry about that 232 right because we already put the money in. We already put the money in. If not all of it, some of it, or most of it, we already put the money in. Okay? His bills, if he pushes them out to the, the 16th and after, what happens is he's able to buy himself more time to get more cash, more money into that credit card account to bring the balance down. And what he also does is avoid the big interest, right? He avoids that big interest cost because he's only going to get charged interest on whatever his what is, statement balance. The statement balance. That's where we pay interest at. So his statement balance would be this 18000 But if I put in this twenty-seven the first month, whew, it goes all the way down to 16 under. So now I'm only paying interest on 16000 so It's going to be less than the eighteen. And then each and every month, what ends up happening is it keeps going lower and lower and if we're got this if we got this set up real nice we're buying ourselves an extra 30 days if we do it just right right because if i can get the 2784 all in before the due date right get it in all before the due date at least and then i don't actually use the credit card till after the closing date and we're in January okay if we're in January right and I get that closing date and then I actually start to use it guess what he's gonna owe 16,000 like 15,000 or less in February meanwhile we're using a couple hundred dollars to pay our bills in that same month that's not going to get shown on the report it's going to get shown on march okay but see by the time we get to march what's going to happen another 2784 is going to go in in february okay and then another 2784 is going to go in in march so by the time we get there that's when we start to see that 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 immediate results where you're like, oh, this thing works. You know, this kid's not too crazy. You know, this stuff works, man. You just got to do the math.